wow, that really takes off. I mean, it's significantly faster than the Trofeo, which is the gas version of this car. How's it going, guys? Today, I'm going to show you what it's like to drive the all-new Maserati Gran Cabrio Folgore from a first-person point of view. Powered by three electric motors, one in the front and two in the rear, it makes 751 horsepower in standard driving, but it can make up to 818 when you activate launch control. It produces a thunderous 996 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 happens in 2.7 seconds. It's got a range of 233 miles and a top speed of 180. Now, Fulgore actually means lightning in Italian, hence the fact that it's an electric car. The battery architecture is really unique. It's a T-shaped design that runs through the center area. The T part is behind the rear seats, allowing the front seats to be lower than any other EV. In fact, Maserati says this is the lowest EV of any electric car on the market. It's also spectacularly good looking, very similar to the Gran Cabrio Trofeo, the non-electric version. I love the fact that these side vents actually illuminate right here. We've got 20 inch wheels in the front, 21 inch wheels in the back. The folding top folds in just 18 seconds. Now let's go ahead and check out the gorgeous interior. Inside of the Gran Cabrio Fulgore now, the interior is absolutely gorgeous. The seat design is fantastic. The Sonos Faber system has a very beautiful design, as is the dash 12.3 inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay. All of our climate controls are down here. Nice carbon fiber covering of extra storage. The steering wheel feels great in your hands. In order to fire the vehicle up, we've got a start button right here. It's kind of funny that they call it an engine when it's electric motors. Then we have different drive modes to choose from. We can switch between max range mode, then we've got GT mode, sport mode, and Corsa mode. The instrument cluster changes, which is really cool. These paddles actually are used to change the regenerative braking. Nice clock here, both digital and analog at the same time. All right, behind the wheel of the Fulgore now, to put it into drive, click this button here, and off we go. We're gonna start this review out in Corsa mode, because of course, I wanna see what this is like as a performance vehicle. Wow. This actually accelerates really, really quickly. It weighs 5,250 pounds, so it's not exactly light, but man, 751 horsepower in its normal drive setting and then 818 in launch control is pretty darn impressive. Wow, that really takes off. I mean, it's significantly faster than the Trofeo, which is the gas version of this car. I actually really like it. And I think it's cool that in an EV, they've realized some of the issues, like having the skateboard platform that makes the driving position too high up. Then you feel like you're kind of being pulled along on a roller coaster, like you're sitting on top of the car. But in this case, you sit at the exact same height as the internal combustion engine version. And the result is awesome. Steering feel is actually pretty good for an EV. It's nice and heavy. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. And it makes this kind of natural noise. I'm sure it's gonna be difficult to have it come across on camera, but it has this cool kind of synthetic but not synthetic EV noise to it. It's like a little growl. Non-existent body roll. And I really like the instrument cluster. Both having the regen when you're off the accelerator pedal and then when you're on, it goes blue like that is a pretty cool feature. Now let's mess with the regen. Go ahead and take off here. Wow. I'm impressed. So let's switch it into GT mode because probably the majority of the time people will be driving the Grand Cabrio in GT mode. I think it's cool that it's a convertible as well. Very, very few convertible electric cars. So this is unique, and then adding that 818 horsepower and launch control on top of that is wild. And I can't emphasize enough how insane 996 pound-feet of torque is. Acceleration is much more relaxed in GT mode. The acceleration comes on smoother, it takes more throttle in order to get it going. 
but it's really comfortable and natural in here. And it's spacious in the interior as well. And being able to be in an open top car with an EV is such an interesting experience. You hear wind noise and you hear kind of the outside environment more than you would in an internal combustion engine car. Normally, when you want a convertible, you drop the top so that you can hear more of that engine note in a sports car. But of course, we don't have that. So it's kind of a unique experience. I'm really impressed with this car, actually. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think about it especially as a, you know, sports car enthusiast. Wow. This thing absolutely takes off. <laughs> Honestly, I'm really impressed. And driving this around 17 mile drive, absolutely beautiful place during Monterey Car Week 2024 is awesome. And they did a really good job with the interior as well. So the interior is actually made of a material called Econil. It's interesting, they're trying to use renewable resources to make the car. So it's made out of fishnets and recycled plastics, which on a surface level, you'd think, do I really want a Maserati starting at $207,000 made of fishnets and recycled plastics? But the result is really, really impressive. And then you know that you're actually helping the environment at the same time, which is pretty cool. And the acceleration is just really, really impressive. Six piston front Brembo brakes, four pistons in the rear. Let's go ahead and see how those work. Oh wow, actually extreme braking performance for an EV. Remember, 5,250 pounds is not exactly a lightweight. And then we've got the top that goes up and down in 18 seconds. So let's go ahead and slow down in order to activate the top. It's on the touch screen here, which is kind of interesting. Then you swipe and hold and then we're gonna raise the top. I love that you can do it at speed, which is nice. See how quickly this folds. We're just driving along. And we are fully closed up now and the windows go up. Now it's really quiet in here. Honestly, the isolation now with the top up is extraordinarily impressive for an EV. Normally, they take out sound deadening materials to make it lighter, to increase the range, but it doesn't appear Maserati did that whatsoever. It's just a really relaxing experience in here. I like that it shows thrust percentage. I just noticed that on the instrument cluster. Obviously we don't have RPMs. 100% thrust <laughs> percentage is awesome. And then it shows the power delivery between the front motors and the rear motors, 14% on the two rear motors right now, which is pretty darn cool. 78% battery left, 177 miles of range. That is awesome. It's showing uh, that we're actually using optimal battery. That's impressive because we haven't been driving that nicely. We'll go over to vehicle here in the infotainment. Go to electric vehicle, see what we can see on the display right here. That did take a little bit, it lagged a little bit, but we do have nice graphics showing regeneration right now, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and click drive mode so we can see a visual depiction of all of the different drive modes. Look at that performance optimizer. And acceleration. It's both so violent and so like elegant in its acceleration. It doesn't hit like a Tesla where it smacks you in the back, but it ramps very quickly. It's not too slow either, which is just a really natural feeling acceleration. And then this is in the normal suspension mode. We can also put it into a stiffer suspension mode if we want for even better handling. Honestly, there was basically no body roll to begin with in the softer suspension setting. So that's really, really impressive. All right, one last little pull in Corsa mode. Let's see what this thing can do in the corners. The driving dynamics are awesome, genuinely. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. No!